we're finally going to flash an image into our Lafrite EMMC module. Let's go ahead and download a Debian image, um, flash it into the USB, boot the Lafrite with it, then flash that image into our Lafrite EMMC storage module, and then boot up the Lafrite from the EMMC itself. So we see that it's working. So. wiki.loverpy, a single board computer. In here, we're going into the brands and library computer. Over here, we're gonna, we're gonna find the, the CPU for our Lafrit that is an S805X. In this case, right down here is AML S805X AC Lafrit. So we select that. We go down in the page of the wiki and here onto the boot images section we see that in the coming soon today i added the debian um, link to share.loverpy.com we're, we're gonna find the images and for the ubuntu ones those are the ones available right now in this case we're gonna use debian very good just a quick note here uh, you can flash any of these uh, images from uh, july the 6th uh, in this case the First four ones are headless, so you will have a text-based login and text-based terminal by itself. No GUI at all. If you need a GUI like a, like a standard desktop, you have to use at least in Debian the LXDE one, this right here, or the XFCE one, right here. I just went ahead and downloaded the X XFCE one and I have it available. So we're gonna fire up Balena Etcher. Balena.io slash etcher. Right there. You just download for your um, specific OS and install it. Pretty good. Now we're going to select the image. In this case, we're going to select, I think it's this one. Let me change the view so that we can see which one I'm using. And it's actually Debian. The stretch XFC, very good. That's the one. We're gonna open that. We have our SanDisk UFIT Media 64 gig selected. Gonna hit continue and flash. Okay, so our flashing has been completed. So we're now with our SBC our Lafrit and our memory module, our EMMC. So for this part, let's uh, install the EMMC module into our Lafrit board. For this, we just need a little screwdriver, not too little, but just sufficient for this work. I'm using a uh, generic rose wheel screwdriver right here in order to, to do this part. We're gonna need the module itself. Let me get a close up here for you guys. Uh, 8 gigabytes EMMC 5.x module. Very good. So, this is the connector, and this will be against the board. It will be held in the board by two screws on both sides of the module. Where will it go? It will go in the board itself you see these two holes this one and this one if we look on the other side of the board we see a connector this is the female port of the connector for the EMMC with this hole and this one here to hold down the, the EMMC module so let's go ahead and install it we're gonna get our screws just like this one right there on the package it comes with a four and you're gonna need the four four of them and it comes with these washers this little golden little golden washers um, like a bigger part on the on the center the fastest uh, the most uh, simple way that I found in order to first install the washers into the board 
is to actually have the board this way, you know, because the, the board ultimately will go in the bottom side of the, the EMMC module, I'm sorry, will be on the bottom side of the board. So we'll just put the washer here on a non-conductive surface, right there. And we're gonna trace that hole with the washer, okay? just like so you have it right there you see the washer is moving with the board now we take one of these screws carefully but not too carefully put it in the hole right there and then take the screwdriver and start to screw it in so you can see we'll start to hold the the washer on the other side from the top side of the board. Very good. Now we have both washers down there on the board ready to install our EMMC module now. We're gonna take the side with the connector and put it where the connector will be on the board. It will just like be on top of those two washers. I'm gonna show you in just a second here. The module will be held down there by those two washers with some screws. You see here that we have to um, push a little bit on this side of the, of the module in order to install it. There we go. It will make like a click sound and it will be flush. You see, it's parallel to the main board. Now it's installed, but we have to secure it. Please don't use it without the screws. Don't try it. <laughs> you can damage the board, you can damage the module, something will break. So let's install the other two screws on both sides of the EMMC module. So now we have successfully installed our EMMC module into our Lafrite. So now we're gonna go ahead and start actually booting off of the USB on this and then show you how to flash the image into the EMMC module and boot from it without a USB storage device so we know it was working. So you can see now uh, we have uh, power connected to internet even though we don't need it for this step and the HDMI and also a USB hub right there where I have a mouse connected and we're gonna connect in just a second the uh, 64 gig drive that we used for flashing the image so let's go ahead and cycle this on go the HDMI input is in we can see that it's trying to boot up but it will not do so it will not find right there in the center the MMC 0 part 0 the partition is current the current device but there is no partition table the MMC is completely black for this one and we're gonna power cycle this guy just a second so we're gonna turn it off we're going to input, uh, well, not input, we're going to connect the USB. I'm sorry, the other way around. There we go. Okay, there's no signal. And now power on this one. As you can see, uh, this hub where the USB is connected is connected to the right USB, the one furthest away from the GPIO headers. We're already up. It's uh, booting up Debian with a Linux kernel 4.19.57 plus. It will be on the desktop in just a second and I'll 
give you guys uh, a first row experience with this in just a second after boot up. As you can see the boot up it had like a five second delay for the start of the grub so it's like a countdown but the actual boot up is uh, at least by USB standards and this board is pretty quick but we're already there and we can use the mouse we can access an application let's say settings Go with the settings menu that's it you know it's pretty fast for what it is as far as I can see there is no GPU acceleration yet but it's working really good So now that we're in the Libre computer, we can fire up our terminal. I'll show you this applications terminal emulator. There we go. Okay. And now we're gonna use a utility. It's called LC, as in Libre Computer underscore distro underscore transfer. I'll show you in just a second with sudo. So super user do because we need root access for this sudo lc underscore distro underscore transfer the password by default in a new image it's computer uh, the user is libre as you see here libre this is the host name libre computer user libre and password computer awesome it shows us an available vendor model list. This is the next step in the command. So now we're gonna input sudo lc underscore distro underscore transfer, or you can just push up and you have the previously entered command in the terminal. Hit a space and now select with a double click the Libre Computer AML S805X AC model from the model list the only one so right click copy right click paste there we go now we have our platform let's just push in the a command and it will show you show us the available block device lists this is the block device where the image will be transferred if we if we use ls blk we can see all the um, uh, block devices, the storage devices that are connected into our computer. In this case, we have the SDA, that's the storage device A, and it's um, being used right now as our boot partition and our root partition right there. So we're we're in the USB side of the of the boot. But after this process, this this guys will be the the ones that we'll be using for boot. Okay, so let's clear the commands, push up three times to have that. We can see again our available devices and that now we're going to add the device, the EMMC device to the end of our command. Push a space, double click on the device, copy, paste. There we go. So now we have Super user do the utility that we'll be using LC distro transfer the platform Libre Computer AML S805X AC and the device where it's going to be transferred. Now we just push enter. Now we're gonna select the distro that we're gonna be transferring into our EMMC. You can choose headless in this case or even XFCE. See if it boots afterwards from the EMMC directly. So we're gonna add that to our command. LC Debian 9 XFC copy paste. Awesome. Now we're gonna push enter. And now it's gonna start to transfer. Just a second more baby. There you go. To transfer the image into the EMMC um, storage. There we go. So now our EMMC has been flashed with the image and now we're gonna boot up the system again, booting up from the EMMC module. 
very good after the flash for this part we're gonna see here uh, use here just a little quick command ls block so we can see that we're yet inside our sda2 partition as root so we're using the usb to boot here so we're gonna change that in just a second let's let's turn this off let's remove our usb drive from the hub and now turn it turn the device back on you'll see of course that the boot will be much faster this time around because it's running from the ES uh, from the EMMC after the timeout it goes away and start to boot Linux 4.19.57 plus to the first start of the panel gonna select just use the default config and I'm gonna show you guys right here applications terminal emulator the same LS block command that we're actually inside our MMC we have no disks on our computer uh, apart from our EMMC disk so now you see how to do it and that it works hope you guys enjoyed this little video and see you on the next one